Wix Forms tutorial. How to use Wix Forms step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Wix Forms. So how can you include this on your site and what is the purpose of including Wix Forms? Well, Wix Forms can serve a wide array of purposes, including building your registration forms, building a login area for your customers, building a separate survey or any type of feedback or evaluation form for your site. And Wix makes it really easy with their own application so you don't have to integrate with a third party. Instead, you can just use the Wix application for easy and simple use. So to do this, I like to do this from my dashboard. This just makes it everything easier. Head on over onto your Wix website dashboard, the website in which you want to add the application, the Wix Forms application. Once you do that, click on apps on the left and then click on app market. Once you click on app market, you're just going to search for Wix Forms. And once you search for Wix Forms, you should be able to see it over here. If you don't see it as it's not being displayed for me, then you're going to have to open up your site editor, click on add apps on the left. And once you click on add apps on the left, you're going to search for forms and you should be able to see Wix Forms and payments right over here. Now, once you open up Wix Forms and payments, click on add site over here and this will be added to your Wix website. Now from here, you can choose a template on how you want to build these forms. So the first form I like to build is a contact form, which is usually just to collect leads. And I'm going to click on choose template to start building our first form. Now, as you guys can see by default, Wix forms adds a first form onto your site. You guys can see it right over here. Now I'm going to click on form settings on the top left and we are going to click on settings, the submissions table, the form submission, autofill forms, subscriber opt-in, the go to site page or this, then we have payment conditions, contacts, automations, marketing email, and everything looks pretty much fine over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this form to the bottom. So I am going to increase the section size because I don't want to create a separate section for this. I am just going to use the pre-existing section and I'm going to drag this form over here and I am going to restructure this a little because I want this to be present as if it's included as a part of the footer. So you can see we have different text fields. We have the first name and the last name which I am going to set up like so. And I think I'm just going to resize this from the left and make it like so. So once I've done that, I'm just going to change the form layout over here, click on the email field like so, and place it right under the first name section. The phone number section is going to be placed right beside the name section. And then we have the leave us a message section over here. And then I'm just going to put the submit button right over here. And I think I want the submit button to be centered. So now this looks pretty good to me. And now I'm just going to decrease the size of this. So it just fits the message over here. And now just moving my footer over here. And just like that, we have this really nice, simple contact form. You can click on save on the top right and save this to your Wix website. Now, once you have done this, if you go back into your dashboard on Wix, you can now find these forms. On the left side, you can click on apps and then click on manage apps. Once you do that, you will see your Wix forms and payments. So you can click on open and this will create a separate section in customers and leads where you have forms and submissions. And you will see with the free version of Wix, you can create upwards of four forms. Currently, we have one form that is, you know, a form that is created and we can create four and you can create different types of forms. There is no limitation on the type. 
we can click on create form and building it from the dashboard makes it easier. So now I can build a custom form. You can include things such as rules and pages to your forms. So let's say I want to build a separate form for custom or warehouse or bulk order form. And after that, we have asterisk placement, payments, we have CAPTCHA. I only want to recaptcha. And now from here, I'm going to go back into edit and I'm going to ask the first name, the last name, the email address, phone number, and then the position of that person, the company name. These are all default, you know, added by default. So I don't have to, you know, write these up myself. But if you want, you can have just layout elements like this. So you can add your own text over here as well. You can add, you know, details about how to fill the form. And if you want, you can even alter the positioning of things. So instead of having to do this later on, doing it over here is going to make it easier for you. I can write the email section to be this long and then the phone section to be this long over here, like so. Then we have the company name and position. And after that, I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to make this required. And we're going to make their last name required, phone number is required, email is required, company names, and then positions. Then let's say I want to add a multiple choice question. And then from the right, I'm going to write up the question. So I want to ask in my bulk order forms, which of our products would you be ordering in bulk? Question mark or which category of our product? Which category of our product would you be ordering in bulk? Let's say it's either clothing, accessories, uh, clothing, jewelry, and then I can click on add other option. And let's say this is going to be shoes. And then let's say the final option is other. And once we do that, we can proceed with whether this is a required field and how I want to display the column, whether I want two columns, three columns, or just one column. Then after that, we can add star rating, single choices, date-based questions, products, as well as submit buttons. But this looks pretty nice to me. I'm going to click on save on the top right. Then on the top panel, I have my settings and then submissions. And now that I have saved this form, all I have to do is go back into forms and then open up my dashboard, click on home on the top, click on edit site, and this will open up the site editor once more. And I can place this form on whatever page I want. So if you want to build a separate page for your form, you can do that as well. If you want to build a simple form and include it in any page. So let's say I am going to go into the about me page and I want to add the form over here. All I have to do is go on to the left panel, click on the my business section, click on forms and payments, click on add form, and then click on add existing form. Click on add existing form over here and you can add one of your existing forms into your section. So just click on this tab and I'm going to select the bulk order form like this. Once we do that, we can just close this up and site settings are going to be updated and display our form. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.